We have had an amazing past couple weeks here in Terlingua, but our time's coming to an end. Today we are preparing for a 409 mile journey to our next location. Howdy y'all. We have no food for breakfast this morning. That's a first for us. Normally we're prepared, but we ran out of eggs and we also have a completely empty fresh water tank. We ran out this morning. So since we have to move the truck, we need to fill up the water. We might as well go have breakfast since we're out of food as well. We're still at the Roadrunner Travelers RV Park and tonight is possibly our last night here. We have decided that it is time to move on and see something different. We've been here for two and a half weeks, three weeks at this point. Two weeks. We've been here for two weeks now. Before we even dump our gray water and fill up our fresh water, we decided to get some breakfast. If y'all recognize where we're at, there's a starlight right there. Downtown Terlingua, y'all. I'm gonna miss this place. Cody, see what you want. Yeah. Need some? And I got you a straw. This old vehicle over here is really neat when you're driving around Terlingua. The ghost town, you see a lot of abandoned vehicles that are just resting. Kelly, your order is ready, Kelly. Man, that is beautiful. Ooh, that looks good. Here's the tamales. I'm gonna go get yours. They just called your name. Okay. I never know what to expect. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready to dig in, y'all. I have to say that was one of the best eggs Benedict I have ever had. Yeah, this place was so good, and the patio is beautiful. So. It's espresso wa poco, poco moss. Delicioso. Delicioso. Like Should we eat there one last time tonight? Yeah, so as you know, we're out of food. <laughs> so we're going to have to find somewhere to eat for dinner because uh, if you watch our previous vlogs, the grocery store here is very small, so it's selective and it's hard for me to find, you know, how I cook, find things to cook. So instead of going and getting groceries, we're going to wait until we leave tomorrow and go into a bigger town to a larger grocery store. So we're going to have to eat out tonight. I ain't complaining. No. We gotta show y'all something pretty cool before we leave. Look at these old buildings. This is one of my favorite parts of downtown Terlingua. The old little town that's falling apart now. I'd rebuild one of those into a little shack. Yeah. Well, if it was structurally sound. Oh, it's structurally sound all day long. Good old dump. We sat still for two days after we saw y'all last time and used up our water. We enjoyed just sitting still. It was a nice mm -hmm. day yesterday. Yeah, even though you always see us doing activities, we do like to just chill sometimes. And of plus that's downtime. Uh, whenever Cody edits, we kind of just have to stay put in one location, especially if we have our Starlink out, we can use that to upload videos. How are you doing, honey? I'm almost done stretching. Okay. Some of you are probably wondering, how do y'all know when you're ready to do laundry? Well, we have a laundry basket so to speak or is it a bag what is it a bag is it a basket a, cl a collapsible basket and whenever it gets about this full that's whenever we say it's time to do laundry we have this shower curtain right here it keeps all this from sliding off into the floor however when this gets this full we will find that in the floor with all of our dirty clothes so that's when we know it's time to do laundry now we're going to mosey on over to the laundry mat this is a very small laundry mat. Most of the washing machines do not have hot water. Actually, none have hot, it's only warm. Um, most of them don't have warm water. So if we get there, it's laundry day. Hopefully, there'll be something open. Just pulled up to the laundry mat, and just like I said, our clothes fell. I called it. Where are y'all from? Everywhere and nowhere, all at the same time. <laughs> now we wait. Our timer just went off for the washing machine. I just timed it for 24 minutes. I'm not sure how long it had. So we're gonna go check and make sure it's done and then we're gonna put them in the dryer. Now, every now and then we will wash our shower curtains. They're the soft liners that are washable, so that's nice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put those back on here. 
Now these will dry very quickly. So we just kind of leave them up. We got the vent open in there. Our clothes are finally dry. And now I get to fold them. Woohoo! Now this is a laundry bag that we just use to carry the clean laundry from the laundromat into here. And I fold this up and shove it in here. If you're wondering where all of our things are located, all towels are up here and I just shove it under here under these two beach towels. This is where all our towels live. Now let's talk about where we store our clothes. What I really like about having the truck camper is that when we go to the laundromat, instead of folding our clothes in the laundromat, I can bring them right back here, fold them on the bed, and immediately put them up. Over on this side of the bed, these are all Cody's clothes that I have folded, and we've got his socks. Most of his stuff stays stored on this side of the bed since he sleeps over here. In this little cabinet drawer, we've got all of his workout clothes shorts boxers socks belts mountain biking shorts lounging shorts any of that will go right there and we're gonna put his clothes in here store those away right up here in our closet we have both of our clothes in this closet now on this side we've got cody's shirts some dress shirts of mine down here in the bottom we store all of our sweaters sweaters, sweatshirts, anything really heavy will store down here and it gets, it's really deep. It goes down to here. So you can fit a lot of clothes down there. Let's move over to my side of the bed. Now you probably can realize this is my side because we have all of the lotions and potions over here. And this is where I store my underwear, we're just gonna say. So in my little side cabinet here, we've got, and this is hard, it won't stay up unless I get violent. It still won't stay. Okay. And when that happens, we just do this. All right. So in my side, I've got my underwear, my bathing suits, all of my warm thermals, leggings, workout clothes, shorts, anything like that stays stored in this side of the bed in my little cubby hole. So I'm gonna finish putting all these clothes up and we can head back to camp. Oh, now we're back at camp. And I think you're gonna edit for yeah. the rest of the day. I need to finish editing this video so I can get it out on time or we won't have a video posted for the, today, which is supposed to be a posted day. Yeah, <laughs> we're behind, but we'll see you guys at dinner. Good, beautiful morning, everybody. We did last night end up going to dinner at Starlight. We said goodbye to our friend Pollo, but we did not film it and I'm sorry. We just wanted to kind of have that time to ourselves, enjoy the Starlight one more time in our friend's company. But if you're interested in checking out the Starlight Theater restaurant, if you go back on our videos, probably two videos ago, we ate there and you'll get to see it then. But we're leaving Terlingua today. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm sad because it's gonna be a beautiful warm day here, but in both of our hearts, I feel we're ready to go. It's time to move on, but know what Kelly promised me she would do one time before we leave? Let's go do it. <laughs> she promised me one round of pole ball and we've read some comments on a recent video. It's actually called tetherball. But I just remember when I was in elementary school in the 90s, all the kids would be screaming, let's go play pole ball. Nobody ever told y'all what the name of it was, no. I guess. <laughs> now you know the rules, babe, right? I don't know the rules. I don't even know how to play. Okay. I'm going to hit it one way and you try hitting it, stopping it from rolling up. And the pers first person to get it all the way rolled tight wins. Okay. No, 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 you can't grab it. You got to hit it. There you go, like that. There you go. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, enough of that. I'm getting hot and sweaty. Honey, when we get a house again, I want one of those. just filled up our first time in four hours of driving and we still have an hour and 45 minutes to go to our final destination. But Kelly's been over here just hinting that she wants some ice cream. I am just craving some ice cream. So there's a Dairy Queen right down the road. Cody is gonna take me to get some ice cream. I like a Oreo Blizzard. 
And I'll take a large Snickers. You're not gonna believe this. This Dairy Queen picture on the wall is Hot Springs, Arkansas in 1950. Oh wow, what is that doing here? I don't know, but we're so far from oh. Arkansas. <laughs> Use that large Snickers and that medium one. Oh, thank you so thank much. You oh, that's Here's large that ones. Oh. So excited. It's been a long time <laughs> since I've had a blizzard. Mm. Is it good it's as always? Spot. An hour and 44 minutes to go, 119 miles. And when we get there, we'll tell you where we ended up. And we have made it to our final destination, which is Fredericksburg, Texas, because we have a friend here we wanted to see and there's a restaurant that we've been craving, which is called Pasta Bella. So if you've watched our vlogs before, you know that Larry is a good friend of ours and he lives here. We're gonna be going to his house later, but before we're gonna go eat at Pasta Bella because we have been craving it. And here we go. Are they yes, open? Away. Yep, I think we're good. Ooh. This is exactly what we came here for. This pasta dish right here, it is their special. It is so freaking good. Chicken and spinach and sun-dried tomatoes, artichoke with an Alfredo sauce on top. Mm. So good. Talking about it for three days now. Now we're full and we're gonna go see our friend Larry. Howdy, howdy. So good to see him. <laughs> this is basically like Uncle Larry. This is yeah, it, this Uncle is it. Larry. <laughs> home away from home, man. I'm telling you what, <laughs> but we'll see y'all in the morning. See ya. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today we are going grocery shopping and I am ecstatic to go to a large grocery store. I don't think y'all understand. <laughs> We're also gonna go to Natural Grocers. You know I love that. I'm ready to stock up on some groceries. Oh, this is our first real grocery store in three weeks. And we love to shop at Natural Grocers because it is actually cheaper if you sign up for their rewards program, you get emails and you get dollars off of your food. Plus you can get a lot of organic stuff here as well. So that is why we choose to come here, but we do still go to a regular grocery store. We're gonna go to HEB next, which y'all know, we haven't been to HEB in how long? A year. And if you're wondering where we get our collagen from, it is Natural Grocer and it's this ancient nutrition, multi-collagen protein. This has beauty within, babe. Right, because it's good for hair, skin, nails, and all that stuff, too. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, they have our favorite brand, Chorizo, so I'm just going to stock up on some of that. This stuff, amazing. And some ground beef. I also like to get my eggs from here because they're cheaper. This brand right here it is the cheapest at Natural Grocer, and you also get the discount. Can you make a box for the other? Now an example of a reason that we're having to go to a larger grocery store now is that we were looking for fresh basil and their fresh basil didn't look that great. Well, we don't get everything here anyway. We always go to two different grocery stores because it would get expensive if you bought everything here. You gotta learn how to play the game. I've been playing the grocery game for years. And the grocery game only works if the two grocery stores are real close together. If you're spending more in fuel to go to another grocery store two towns yeah. away, it doesn't benefit you. The craziest thing when you go into Texas, especially HEBs, is how much pride there is in Texas. Look at this trash bag that's Texas tough. This one says Go Texan on it. Too. Go Texan. They don't have my hot sauce? Wow. That's a problem. That's nope, there it is. Weird. There it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, I was about to cry. It's a large bag of basil, but it looks a lot better than what we saw at the other place. While we were in Terlingua, we were fortunate enough not to pay that extra premium for the propane when we were using that little ceramic electric heater, but we finally do need to get propane because it has been over two weeks as well on that. You can tell this thing is light. Yeah. 5.6, yeah. just going to pay? Yes. Sir. All right, thank you so much. Hey, can you go tell them 5.6 and pay inside? All right. Thank you, honey.
our refrigerator runs off propane when it's not hooked up to shore power. And it's got a warning that it's lost propane. There we go. How much was it? 18 bucks. Yeah. Oh. We went three weeks without filling that thing up. That's pretty dang good. Well, it's probably because we stayed at that campground. We were plugged up to shore power, so the refrigerator was working off of electricity, and we had the ceramic heater going. So we got three weeks worth. That's pretty good. And we did. We went out to eat more than normal too, so we didn't cook as much. Right. I cooked more breakfast stuff. We're back at Larry and KK's. And every time we're here, Larry takes us on adventures of some sort around the region to show off the beauty of the Texas Hill Country. And the beauty we're going to be seeing today is the Perdinalis Falls State Park. That is one place we have not been in this area, and that's where we're going right now. And by the way, Larry knows that this is my emotional support water bottle. That's it. And he found me a sticker that says emotional support water bottle. It goes nowhere without it. I'd need it right now. Yeah. I don't know if it's always water in here or not. It's it's always water in there, 24-7. Yeah. There's so much water in there that sometimes it starts growing like a black stuff in it and yeah. Kelly has to clean it. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's mildew. Well, it's mildew. We are at the trailhead to the Perdinellis Falls. Now, this is a pretty short trail. I think it's half a mile in. And then there's little offshoot trails that you can take once you get down there. And what we're going to be seeing is tons of layers of limestone that the water has eroded over, made these beautiful cascading waterfalls. And there's more than one. It's just a whole set of cascading waterfalls called the Perdinellis Falls. Is that about right, Larry? That's it. That's it? Yeah, a lot of beautiful pools down there, too. But you can't swim in it. You won't let you swim in it. Why not? The access to it is, is not good. You can, I think you can swim downstream from the actual falls, but not right in here. Gotcha. Yeah. So we are here and the falls are all this. Whoa, look at that. Oh, dang. No wonder you can't swim in it. Is this just like right after a rain? That's what it normally mm -hmm. looks like. Oh, flash flood, yeah. Yeah. And a little less, five minutes. Yeah. Even that, if it does not rain in the park. So if it just rains like up ahead and not here, that's scary. So in five minutes, it can go from that to that. Okay, totally not expecting this. It's Ooh. bigger than I thought. There's a sand beach down there. It's all Kelly cares about <laughs> is a sand beach. Man, it, it would sure would be nice to hang out down there. This is much wider than I anticipated. This is the same river that's by the house. Oh, yeah, really? The little water crossing that we yes. go across that you can almost jump across. This is the same river. Oh my gosh. You let Kelly lead and she takes you directly to the beach. <laughs> Here's your sand, honey. I know. That's all she cares about, y'all. Water and this sand. the lounger, huh? Should have. Dude, that is some clear water. This is a layer. There should be some fossils in right here. Like this. Is this a fossil? Yep. Is it? Yep, there's a fossil. So is it just plant plant fossils? That's the main thing I saw was plants. Yeah. Looks like a fish tank. Yeah. To be sitting still like this, I'm shocked that it's not more stagnant. Mm -hmm. Unless it's trickling water into it. It might be seeping through the cracks. Oh, that's cold. Yeah. yeah. The skill of this is much more impressive than I anticipated. This is just too cool. Larry, why didn't you ever bring us here? Well, I thought y'all had been here before. No! <laughs> Where's all this water coming from? That's what I'm saying. It's like it's coming out right here. It's gotta be coming out right here. That's too much water flow. This is... 
It's coming out from the grass. You can see it bubbling up right here. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right there. The whole thing's a spring. Yeah. That's a lot of water. That's not a little. Larry just pointed out a cave with the rock in it. Oh, there's a cave right there too. Where? Oh, well, that's the one we're going to. No, we were looking at that one up over there. Oh. Dude, that is so blue. Here's a closer view of that rock. I want to know how that thing got shoved up in there. So we're going to be here for, we don't know how long, maybe a week, as long as Larry will have us. As long as y'all want to be there. <laughs> However, we're going to see what we get into around here and we'll catch you on the other. See ya.